Hi, this is Epic M Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the Roland Alpha Juno Hoover sound. Uh, you can read about it. You can read about it on Wikipedia uh, if you want. Uh, so, without further ado, here it is. So, I just created a simple preset. I put it on. Uh, I put it online. So you can download it. It'll be in the description. And anyways, so here is what it sounds like. Anyways, so that was just yeah, two uh, two notes being played uh, at a time to make a chord. That's what it sounds like alone. So as you can see, it sounds pretty good. Um, you can tweak this to your liking if you download the preset. So here's how it's made, basically. I have a power wave uh, with a base function parameter set to 13, and it's detuned to negative 20, right? And I have its, its unison set to 2 with the frequency thread set at 75%, or it's not 75%, but 75.4. Um, and over here in Zenit sub effects and the parameters in LMS, I have the bandwidth set to about mm, one or two o'clock. Um, the rest of everything is just staying the same. And then for the next voice, I have the exact same thing, except the frequency is set to zero. I have a point zero nine, but it doesn't matter. Uh, unison set to the same, and the oscillator is flipped. And then for the next four it's basically it's exactly the same as the first two except at different octaves so these ones were the first two were at uh, the zeroth octave next two are at the first octave and the two after that whoops at the second octave yeah so that's how uh, the oscillators are done Next, I have an amplitude envelope, right, that kind of, after you play a note, makes it fade out. Uh, that's basically what that's doing, really simple. Then the frequency envelope, filter, not the free, filter frequency, the uh, just the frequency. So over time, it's going from a higher frequency to a lower frequency, as you can hear. So it goes, mm, yeah. So that's pretty simple, um, and I also have a punch set to about mm, 10 o'clock. To give it more of a punch so it doesn't kind of, so it's uh, stronger at first when it comes in. Then for the effects, um, one effect I have, just going to skip to distortion, distortion without it. See, this basically just yeah makes it louder. Uh, pretty simple. Then I have reverberation. making it sound like it's in a real room uh... very simple like that and the phaser, the phaser is one thing that kind of does a lot to it um... what it does if you adjust the phase parameter You can see it kind of switches between those two uh, sort of modes for the sound, and I have it set pretty low. Yeah, so um, that's how I did it. And I also have a uh, an LFO frequency on this um, with a depth set very low, um, so it doesn't 
If I had the depth higher, it would be like... I don't want it to sound like that. Yeah. So then, that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty simple when you when it comes down to it. It just takes a while to come up with the parameters. Uh, I hope you liked it. Hope you like how it sounds. No effects here. Uh, and also, if I have the filter frequency uh, turned down. <laughs> Nothing special happening with the filter, as you can see here. Um, it's not a pluck synth, so I'm not doing this. Anyways, so thank you for watching. Let's turn the envelope off. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll write a download link for this patch in the description. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, enjoy. And also, share uh, with me some of the songs you made with this. I'd really like to uh, hear them. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>